Nyaja watu wangu DJ Rudwa hapa Mr Skill so rude scratch techniques we got to keep to the streets Merudi na video nyingine mzuri hapa watu wengi sana wamekuwa kiniuliza pale mimi wa muziki na nasema acha nitengeneze video ni share pia ni waelimishe and in so kuelimisha pia kwanza sana sana kwa wale ma student wangu wenye kuja kwa scratch techniques DJ Academy I'm freeing up a bit of time for you ndio kwa na more time kucheza because the first week ya kuja hapa scratch techniques DJ Academy na kwa ngati theory so I'll do most of this theory videos in the post na kwa na ku show watch video before come down na mekwa kikuizia kuja tu hapa kuna spend most of the time on the decks weave cup so kutoka uko pro au sio pia for the general public pia wajue some of the secrets in Konazo so let's get into it uh music can't DJ that music music is so wide in a quite influenced by journals which come from social communities ile sasa kama kuna watu wa reggae kuna watu wa hip hop kuna watu wa R&B kuna yeah you can also group it according to the mood like mapenzi sorrow happiness party just chill ama kuelimisha you know so pia na kipenda watu and as a dj it becomes uh mimi sema dj weni kazi yako ni ku deliver to the client what they want and what they like so the client is key because if the client does not feel a certain type of music you are failing because i'm i'm entertained kuna madj wenye wameji weka Shall I say my DJ categories on some out as a hip hop out as a house out as a reggae peke yake but what if a client akuja kwambia mimi nataka kucheza hivi uh pesa utakopoteza ukisema wewe cheza vitu zingine so ni vizuri tu msikimo be an open format DJ generally be open to learn a lot of music yeah fresh kila mtu kujua muziki lazima ufanye research it's a lot of work So where do DJs get music? I'll categorize it into two sources. We can call it free stroke illegal sources. The second one uh, of course paid sources and then legal. So in other words, free stroke illegal sources. Number one ni sharing music with with other DJs. Yeah, it's kind of illegal to share music because of piracy i believe but me uh, say you need to get your own peer when you anafanya the same kind of work peer you know anafanya i hate parasites parasites no watu wenye uomba muziki and they don't have anything in return i always kupatia kitu kingine ya maana me say my extension you are the best thing pia another aspect ya kushare with other DJs ni for backup purposes kunaweza kuwa na equipment failure and of course theft to share music with other DJs in Akpatia a way ya ku safeguard your music as a backup another way of getting music collections is from friends generally like the people the fans themselves just ask them what music they like maybe they can give you a list well you can know list it's far much better than having no list you know list and then you have to music legally yeah kuna nyota ya kutumia kwa kwa simu ama nini but is gonna downsides anyway another way in which DJs do ni download from eh, YouTube very illegal I cannot advocate for it you know if people do it I do it but I don't advocate for doing it uh, kuna I use a lot of blogs Kenya tuko na blogs kama getmuziki.com mdunno.com zinaweza pia na playlist za kujua pia kujua muziki zenye pia zina trend kwa maana ama Kenya ina pop ama mpya so getmuziki.com mdunno.com i believe kuna apple music you get the lists note after lists spotify deezer most of them are free you can join so na note after lists unaweza join their stuff it's just awesome So there yeah, are free sources there is one. Let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of free sources of music. Number one advantage it's cheaper. It's very cheap. Number two 
ni the advantage of free sources pia ni mob see at in kiasi there are a lot of that people want to market their music and most of the time when they're marketing their music they expose it out to the free sources like youtube blogs it's a good way to know music but it's not a good way to download music disadvantages ni of course it's illegal in a promote piracy sana yeah because you're copying music from getting music illegally from maybe downloading from youtube even downloading from the blogs even sharing with, uh, with other djs yo but you are part of copying which is piracy ish <laughs> you know my history you know piracy number one number two free sources have a lot of trash everybody is marketing out the music out there so you never know what's good and what's bad eh well as motor take time to judge trash in terms of peer quality of music because when you download from youtube i won't get collection from your friends most of them don't look at the quality because it can go across speakers you know that kind of clarity and it in a picture from the beat sheet most of them when download music from youtube i took and earlier the audio beat rate in a come on and it was 7 kilobits per second like the amount of information per second is in that song if it's a 4 minute song multiply that by 60 that's 240 seconds and each and every second kuna 127 kilobytes of space allocated for it you can't compare that to a very high quality song which has 320 the highest quality in 320 so 320 you can have space mob in am for young coming quick clear everything cos smart so yeah that's a downside to it the quality of music when it's free it's just trash ish ish ish, ish trash ish yeah so now the same uh let's talk about the paid sources in the second video thanks for watching and uh, keep it locked manze dj rule boy scratch techniques dj academy kaboom